This snippet is Working with Behaviors in Sketchflow. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to work with behaviors in Sketchflow to add simple interactivity to buttons or to play an animation upon loading a screen. Additionally, you'll take a look at Sketchflow's extensibility, which allows you to add custom behaviors to your project, in this case to simulate drag and drop behavior in an application. So let's get started here with the most basic behavior, which is to navigate from one page to another using a button. So here on my Boots page, I'm going to right-click on this checkout button and choose Navigate to Review Cart. Then I'll double-click on the Review Cart screen, and I'm going to add two behaviors here. The first is on the Back button. I'll right-click that Back button and choose Navigate to Back. This will automatically go to the last screen selected. Now I'll right click on the confirm button and choose navigate to checkout. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in the Sketchflow player by choosing project run project. Once the Sketchflow player appears, I'll go ahead and click on the welcome screen in the navigate tab and then I'll click on boots. So now when we click on the checkout button, We'll go to that review cart page. I can click on the back button and go back to the previous screen. So we'll talk about these behaviors in just a moment, but first let's take a look at this page. Here we have an animation that we created in a previous snippet. In order to play this animation, I need to go into the navigate tab and click on Sketchflow animation, and then the animation plays. But what if I'd like this animation to play when the screen is first loaded? In order to accomplish this, I need to work with a behavior. Let's go back to Sketchflow and see how this works. I'm going to click back to Sketchflow and then go back to my Boots page. The first thing we'll take a look at is this checkout button. On the left hand side of the screen in the Objects and Timeline panel, we can locate that checkout button. Now there's an arrow immediately to the left of that. If I expand it, I can actually see this Navigate to Screen Action Behavior. So while you may not know it, right-clicking on the button and navigating to that screen is actually using a built-in behavior. Now there are a few other built-in behaviors in Sketchflow. One allows us to play a Sketchflow animation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play a Sketchflow animation when this page is loaded. In order to do this, I'm going to right-click on this element labeled Layout Root. Layout Root is the overall element that contains everything else within this screen. So I'm going to right-click once and choose Play Sketchflow Animation. I'll go ahead and select this option. Now, however, I need to modify this slightly because by default, these behaviors think that we're using buttons, but we're not using a button. We're actually using a screen. So we don't want the user to click on the screen. We simply want the animation to play when the screen is loaded. In order to do that, we need to actually select the behavior. So you can see here indented immediately underneath layout root is play sketchflow animation action. Go ahead and click on that once. And on the far right hand side of the screen in the properties tab, we can see a trigger. Under the trigger we have event name. You can see here by default it's selected to the mouse left button down event. We need to change this by clicking on that and choosing loaded. Let's go ahead and run this project again by choosing project run project. Again, let's click on the Welcome page, and then click on the Boots page. You'll see the animation automatically play because, of course, now when the page is loaded, the animation plays. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and look at a custom behavior. I'll go ahead and close out of the Sketchflow player, and then I'm going to navigate to the Boards page. Sketchflow includes a few default behaviors, however, you can also bring in your own. So in this case, perhaps we want to illustrate a drag and drop behavior. If we look within our assets panel and we choose behaviors and then click on that behaviors category, we can see that there's a drag drop item behavior here. What I'm going to do is click and drag to add this behavior directly to this list box here. Now once I do that, that behavior is added to the list box. Now let's go ahead and choose project run project to see this in action. Now once the project opens in Sketchflow Player, I'll click on Welcome, and then Boards, and now we can see that drag and drop behavior in action. I'm going to click on this first board, 
and then drag and drop from the left hand side right on top of my detail screen. We can see that the board pops up with a price as well as the image and the text. Now in order to create a behavior you need a little bit of scripting knowledge. This goes beyond the scope of this tutorial. However, for now, you've had a chance to work with behaviors in Sketchflow to add simple interactivity. Thank you. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.